Hello everyone, this is Brownwell coming at you, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, today, I'm going to be showing you how to secure yourself a nice little place on a Minecraft server, if the server has lock on their chest. So, I just, on a, I'm on a server right now to show you what I mean by lock. I place a chest down, I type in lock, it does that, it says please left click your block to lock it and here we go and there it is and this is locked create you can see in the green there it says created the protection successfully okay so that's all I needed to show you here on this server here's a little sneak peek of a pretty awesome build I had nothing to do with this but there's that uh, I'm at mcdifferentcraft.com if you like this server I've played on this one for quite a while it's a towny server it's pretty nice pretty active Let's see how many people's on here. There's 17. So it's a pretty good server. I'm going to give it a little bump here while I'm in this video. But yes, yeah, so let's go on to a creative world, and I will show you how to use this to your benefit. Okay, we're in a super flat creative world now, and I took the liberty of building a wall as if we were underground just for video purposes sake. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our chest and our trap chest, and we're going to start laying them out so that we are nice and secure in our secret base and what you're going to want to do is lay these out in intervals because if you don't know you cannot lay a whoops i just tried to do it you cannot lay a regular chest next to a regular chest like so see i cannot do that but i can lay a trap chest next to a regular chest and vice versa and that is how you create a nice secure place out of locked chests. Now we take these chests here and we lock them all, right? We take them and we lock them all. Then we'll take our floor of our secret base and throw it over the top of these chests. Now, once you have locked your chest on your server, all these chests, nobody obviously can break into them and nobody can break them. They can't break into them, they can't break them. They can't get into them and they can't break them. Now on the walls we want to take, uh, what you want to do as much regular chests as you can because it's going to just save you time on crafting. And yeah, it just, it'll just make it easier, especially if you're trying to get this right off the bat, trying to get a nice little place secure real quick on a server. Make sure you try to do it out of regular chests as best, as most as you can. And then we're just going to keep interval, inter, yeah, keep interchanging between regular chests and trap chest you can tell see the little red around there if you're new to minecraft you don't know that's how you tell whether it's a trap chest or a regular chest but that's another video a whole nother time look up a video about trap chest and i'm sure you'll find plenty to know okay i'm gonna keep putting these chests on the wall and i'll be back with you for the ceiling all right now that we have our walls filled up with our chest i would suggest not doing it just walls like this that i mean you can put items in these chests Make sure you lock all these chests, okay? If you do not lock all these chests, then this is this is perfectly someone could break into your base, okay? And break whatever you're wanting to do. This is basically to make sure you have a nice secure little area, because most servers, if it's a towny, you can get it in a safe place. But this is if your town doesn't pay its money, doesn't pay its dues to keep it safe. Whenever your town goes under, you still have a nice little secure base underground to keep whatever it is that you want, you know, built maybe a nice underground base you have that you don't want someone coming along and destroying later on you have this nicely secured with locked chest okay I'm gonna throw the ceiling on it gonna plop out right here then gonna take and do the same thing we did underneath and just interchange these chests I'm gonna leave that one off for right now so we can hop back in there and we are almost done and this would be completely underground. You're going to want this underground. And what you do on a server, if you don't know, you can go slash set home, most of them, and hit enter. It's not going to work on a creative world, obviously. And then when you go slash home, it will spawn you to your home and you will spawn in here. Now, you could take, like I said, I would make a wall like this because if you didn't, people could break that if they, they happen to stumble across it. And they can see what's going on in here and be like, oh, hey, I, I need in there. But if you have this wall here, nobody's going to know the wiser on what's on the other side of these chests. So you can have nice little secret, secret little base hidden there for nobody to get into. Alright, last couple things. Don't build this on the surface. Moderators can come along and be like, well that's stupid and break all your chests. The owner, the moderator of the server. So yeah, build it underground. Make sure you set your home in there because obviously you're not going to be able to get the freak out of there if you don't 
and you're going to want to leave one space, hop up here, block that off and have a nice tunnel all the way up to the surface, closing it up as you go, and then you'll look at this, you'll have your nice little secure bunker, nobody can break into, nobody can get it, and you will be safe and sound in your server bunker. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. Thank you.